to reach the highest possible level of energy reduction, a combination of active and passive measures is needed. And this level of energy efficiency can be achieved in new housing construction, but it is also possible by refurbishing existing dwellings. Level two will create dwellings that almost need no additional energy. Level three involves high-end renovations, such as the pre allogé house that is shown here. At this level, the dwelling is improved in such a way that over the course of a year, the dwelling produces, produces at least as much energy as the occupant consumes on average. Let's have a closer look at level three. At this level, the affordability of technical measures is key. Affordability can be reached through innovative payment arrangements where the current amount of the energy bill is invested in the renovation. And as a result, the occupants pay the same as they did before. The rent will be higher, but the energy bill will be lower. And in this way, high-end sustainable housing investments can still be affordable for residents and financially attractive for the landlord. We call this net zero energy solutions. While affordable net zero energy solutions can be achieved for a single home, it is hard to develop a viable business case for only one dwelling. And to make these high level refurbishments cost effective, product innovation, industrialization, an increase in scale is needed. The net zero energy approach is therefore mainly suited for the construction or the refurbishment of series of dwellings. In the Netherlands, landlords and construction industry partners have established a program called the Accelerator to meet these requirements. And together, these parties want to refurbish tens of thousands of dwellings. And one example of that program is shown here. Level four introduces two interrelated perspectives to sustainable housing management. The, so the, so the social perspective and the neighborhood perspective. Considerations for this level go beyond dwellings alone. The approach considers all energy and financial flows in the neighborhood and links them to existing social needs to create a new business case. The ambition of energy-friendly renovation serves as a driving force to achieve other objectives in the neighborhood. For example, by using residual heat from nearby factories, by sharing facilities, such as windmills or biomass installations, solar park, cars and very Dutch bikes. Engaging residents in sustainable housing management can be the starting point for other activities that increase social cohesion and sustainability and to create more attractive neighborhoods. By adopting a perspective that goes beyond the individual dwelling, neighborhoods can be created that might well be able to produce more energy than they consume.